The last few years, I've been hearing so much about Dubrovnik as a must-visit destination. It's got centuries of history and medieval architecture, all set against the backdrop of the Adriatic. Are we where we wanna be? Dubrovnik once rivaled Venice for its power and wealth, and we are surrounded by the proof, and I can't wait to explore this epic city. Sitting pretty on the Dalmatian coast in the southeastern corner of Croatia, Dubrovnik is often referred to as the Pearl of the Adriatic. It's one of the most picturesque cities in the world and a popular port on an emerald cruiser's journey along Croatia's epic coastline on board the brand new luxury yacht Emerald Azura. Getting above Dubrovnik by gondola is the best way to start exploring this medieval city. So Darko, this is the quintessential postcard view, isn't it, of Dubrovnik? Yes, it is. This is definitely the most famous view for the old town of Dubrovnik. Dubrovnik's geographical position with its city walls rising directly from the sea helped preserve it for many centuries. In every medieval city, the fortification systems were always the most important. The enemies were coming from the land, from the sea, so the city itself was inside the walls, so yep. they needed protection, so it was a huge importance for them. From every vantage point, the Dubrovnik of today is a dream holiday destination. It looks quite wealthy. Is that a safe assumption to say that the city was very vibrant back in the day? Well, back in the days in medieval period, 15th and 16th centuries, Dubrovnik had second highest GDP in the world, a matter of fact. And what was that from? Well, they were excellent traders and uh, they were producing salt. Salt in medieval period had almost equal value as gold. People were paid by salt and that's the reason why we have today expression salary because it originates from the Latin word for salt. It's hard to believe it held off invasions for centuries, but finally succumbed to warfare only decades ago. We had a war 30 years ago. Yeah. A lot of this was destroyed. 78% of the rooftops were destroyed. But luckily, tourism helped us a lot. And now we have this beautiful town. Since 1979, the entire Old Town area has been designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site. We are entering the Old Town through the East Gate, one of three official entrances to the Old Town. It's only once you get within the Old Town itself that you can fully appreciate its charm. Every turn we make, there's a new little laneway, a little pocket, another little store. It's so rich. Yeah, there's the beauty in it because all these medieval buildings, but on the other side, you have shops, bars, restaurants, yeah. which are giving you this modern touch. This must-see destination leaves its mark on visitors from all around the world, including, of course, our fellow Emerald Cruises guests. I've always wanted to travel here. Finally, we've had our chance. And yeah. it really almost exceeds expectations. It's just a spectacular city. The city walls that enclose the old town are almost two kilometers long, and you can walk the entire length. Is this one of the largest city walls in Definitely Europe? one of the largest well-maintained walls, where you can go all around the old town in 45, 50 minutes. This is a must. I mean, both sides of the view is incredible. Definitely. You've got the ocean on one side, you've got these terracotta tiled roofs on the other. It really is spectacular. And it's jam-packed with tales of time past. Within the city's Franciscan monastery is Europe's longest running pharmacy. In the moment when this cloister was established in early 14th century, monks were the ones who were planting herbs and plants and they were the ones who opened this pharmacy in 1317. So this is the actual pharmacy? Yeah, this is the actual pharmacy dating from 1317. But for all its fascinating history, 
Dubrovnik will always draw you back to its coastline and you'll find plenty of places to appreciate it from. When you hear a lot about a destination, it's hard for it to live up to the hype. But after spending the day getting lost in all the little laneways of Old Town here in Dubrovnik, this place is the real deal and is now officially at the top of my holiday wish list. Join Emerald Cruises on a luxury yacht cruise in the Mediterranean, Red Sea or Indian Ocean and discover the magic of small ship cruising. All meals with complimentary wine and beer, shore excursions and more are included. Secure your unforgettable 2022 or 2023 departure today with savings of up to 25%. Getaway viewers can save an additional $250 per person off the Emerald Cruises Luxury Yacht Cruise Collection. For more information or to request your voucher, visit emeraldcruises.com.au forward slash getaway offer. Call 1300 390 386 or speak to your travel advisor.